in the polynomial section, you're going to be asked to factor something like this and then just graph it on, on a grid paper. Well, you can actually cheat a little bit by using your calculator. Remember, it's always the factors of this. Potential factors are x can equal to plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, or plus or minus 10. And if you think about it, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's eight potential factors that you have to try. Well, that's crazy, but remember, whenever you put one of these factors in, it has to equal to zero, which is cool. What does this mean? This means look for things where y equals to zero. That's all it is. So I went out and I graphed this on the calculator, put it in the calculator right here. There it is, x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10. I graphed it to show you this, and you can see the potential zeros are here here and here. But what does that mean? How do I know what those are? Well, I can go and I can use second calc, find me the zeros, or better yet, just use the table function. Look for where the, the y value equals to zero. Look at this. Check this out. Look. It equals to zero here, it equals to zero here, and it equals to zero here, giving your potential factors at x equals to five, x equals to 2, and x equals to minus 1. Look at that, you're factored. x equals to 5, x equals to 2, and x equals to minus 1. All courtesy of the fact that you know you're looking for the x-intercept, and it happens when y equals to 0, and you look in your calculator, there's your y equals to 0. Done. Factored.